Hello everyone, welcome to Technical Campus. So let us solve some question of gate from the topic maxima and minima of a function. So in this question, we have to calculate the minimum value of this function f of x in the interval minus 3 to 3. So we have been provided with the interval and we have to calculate the minimum value of this function in this given interval. And this question came in gate 2014 in electrical engineering branch for 2 marks and this is a question of set 2. So let us solve this question. So the first step is we have to calculate the value of f dash x. And the value of f dash x is this is x s q. Okay. So the value of f dash x is 3 x square minus 6 x minus 24. We have to equate the value of f dash x to 0 in order to find out the value of critical point. Or we can say we have to solve this equation and we have to find out its root. The roots of this equation is known as the critical point of this given function. So the critical point will be if we take 3 common from this equation it will be x square minus 2x minus 8. Now by medial term factorization it will be x minus 4 and x plus 2. Okay. So the value of the critical point is x is equal to 2 or x is equal to sorry minus 2 or 4. As we can see in this question we have to find out the minimum value of this function. So it is not required to calculate d2y by dx square that is it is not required to find out the second differentiation of the given function because we will only calculate the second differentiation of any function when we have to find out the point of maxima or minima point of maxima or minima here we have to calculate the minimum value minima here we have to calculate the minimum value not the point of maxima or minima so we will not going to calculate the value of second differentiation of this function so we will directly put the value of critical point in the given function and we will check which value is minimum or which value is maximum so here the value of critical point is s is equal to minus 2 and x is equal to 4 you can see the interval is given minus 3 to plus 3 so we have to discard this value of x because this value does not belong to this interval so we have to check the value of function for s is equal to minus 2 and for the end value that is for x is equal to minus 3 and for s is equal to plus 3 so we have to check the value of the function f of x for all these three values of x so if we put the value minus 3 in this equation it will be minus 3 square minus 3 into minus 3 square which this will be minus 3 q ok minus 24 into minus 3 plus 100 so it will be minus 27 minus 27 plus 72 plus 100 it will be 118 now if we put x is equal to minus 2 in this equation it will be let us quickly solve this it will be minus 8 minus 12 48 and plus 100 so the value is 128 and if we put the value of plus 3 in this equation it will be 27 minus 27 minus 72 plus 100 so it will be 28 the minimum value is 28 so the minimum value for this function in this given interval is 28 so the correct option is option b so if this type of question is there then we have to check the value of the function for critical point and for the end value of the interval so let us solve some more example from the previous gate question so let's take another question question number two this question is for the function f of x is equal to x square into e to the power minus x the maximum occurs when x is equal to and the options are option is 2 option b is 1 option c is 0 option d is minus 1 this question came in gate 
2005 in electrical branch for two marks so we have to find out the point of maxima for this function so let us solve please note down this question because i am going to erase this let us solve this question the function is f of x is equal to x square into e to the power minus x so the first step is we have to calculate f dash x so the value of f dash x will be we have to apply the product rule of differentiation here so it will be x square and the differentiation of this term will be minus e to the power minus x plus e to the power minus x into 2x so if we take e to the power minus x common it will be 2x minus x square now we have to equate this term to 0 in order to find out the value of critical point and the roots of this equation will be equal to the critical point so if we equate e to the power minus e to the power minus x into 2x minus x square to 0 then let's take x common so it will be 2 minus x square so if we solve this equation it will be e to the power minus x into x is equal to 0 and 2 minus x is equal to 0 so the value of critical point is x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 2 so we have got two values of critical point for this given function and the next step is we have to calculate f double dash x so the value of f double dash x will be e to the power minus x into 2 minus 2x plus by the product rule of differentiation it will be 2x minus x square into minus e to the power minus x now if we manipulate this it will be e to the power minus x into 2 minus 2x minus 2x minus x square so it will be e to the power minus x into x square minus 4x plus 2 so this is the value of f double dash x now we have to put the value of critical point and we have to check whether the given function give the value which is less than 0 greater than 0 we have to find out the point of maxima okay we have to find out the point of maxima so we have to see that for which value of x this equation give a value which is less than 0 so we have to put these two value for f of x double dash x at x is equal to 0 will be you have to put the value of x you have to substitute the value of x of this equation by 0 okay so if we substitute the value of x of this equation by 0 it will be e to the power minus 0 into 0 minus 0 plus 2 so it will be 2 this value is greater than 0 so the point x is equal to 0 is a point of minima so this is not the answer so let's check for x is equal to 2 so if we substitute the value of x by 2 then it will be e to the power minus 2 into 2 square minus 4 into 2 plus 2 it will be e to the power minus 2 4 minus 8 plus 2 it will be minus 2 e to the power minus 2 which is less than 0 so we can say the point s is equal to 2 is a is a point of maxima so the correct answer is option a that is 2 because by putting or by substituting the value of x is equal to 2 of this equation we get a value which is less than 0 so as we get the value less than 0 so we will say the point s is equal to 2 is a point of maxima we have get the idea how to solve this type of question so let us solve some more question based on this topic so let us take the third question in this question it is given consider a function f of x is equal to x square minus 4 whole square where x is a real number then the function has the option are only one minima only two minima three minima and three maxima this question came in gate 2008 in electrical engineering for two marks so please note down this question we have to check how many maxima and minima this function have okay so let us solve the question the function is f of x is equal to x square minus 4 whole square so we have to calculate the critical point so in order to calculate the critical point 
we have to equate f dash x to 0 so the value of f dash x will be 2 into x square minus 4 into 2x equal to 4x into x square minus 4 okay it will be 4x into 2 minus sorry x minus 2 and x plus 2 so we have to find out the value of critical point so if we equate f dash x to 0 the value of critical point will be x is equal to one value will be 0 another value will be minus 2 and plus 2 so the third step is we have to calculate f double dash x so it will be 4 into x into 2x plus x square minus 4 it will be 4 into 2x square plus x square minus 4 which will equal to 4 into 3x square minus 4 is equal to 12x square minus 16 so we have to replace we have to substitute the value of x by this critical point and we have to check that whether the value is greater than or less than 0 so by putting the value x is equal to 0 in this equation we will get if we replace the value of x by 0 in this equation so it will be 12 into 0 minus 16 which is minus 16 the value is less than 0 so this is the point of maxima so maxima at x is equal to 0 if we replace the value of x of this equation by minus 2 it will be we have to put x is equal to minus 2 in this equation so it will be 12 into minus 2 whole square minus 16 it will be 32 which is greater than 0 so this is minima at x is equal to minus 2 now let's check for x is equal to 2 if we substitute the value of x by 2 and if we put the value of x plus 2 here it will be 12 into 2 square minus 16 so it will be 32 which is greater than 0 so this is also the point of minima so minima at x is equal to 2 so we have got two minima for this given equation and the point of minima is minus 2 and 2 so the correct option is b that is only two minima for this function so this is the rule to calculate how many minima or how many maxima a function have we have to equate the value f dash x and we have to find out the value of critical point and we have to put the value of critical point in f double dash x and we have to check whether the value is greater than or less than zero and if the value is greater than zero then that point will be point of minima and if the value is less than zero so that point will be the point of maxima